Hello, are you also thinking of doing MSQE from Indian Statistical Institute and wondering what kind of job profiles or roles could be offered to you? I did my BTEC from IIT Khadakpur and MSQE from ISI Kolkata. And if I have to give you some kind of a brief summary about the roles which are offered, and before I tell you about the roles, why don't you just like this video and subscribe because that gives the YouTube algorithm reasons to promote these kinds of videos to people like you. So be a good Samaritan and give it a like. First would be your financial risk. Now there are a lot of investment banks and financial institutions which come to ISI and offer these financial risk roles. Now, I cannot explain you what exactly is financial risk as those roles are quite rich and varied and depends upon where you are working at. These roles are the most relevant roles for an MSQE student. Now, the next role is insurance and actuary. Though they are not related, but as you are studying at Indian Statistical Institute, so these companies do come in for hiring the M stats. Now, when they come in for the M stats, they sometimes offer it to MSQE as well. It would be prudent if you clear few actuarial papers because they have some kind of a requirement over there. Not all companies, but few actuarial or insurance companies have this requirement that if you clear few papers, they will consider your profile. Needless to say, these jobs pay a lot. Now, the next is data science, analytics, and everything in between. So essentially, there is a lot of buzz about data science, ML, AI, and all that jazz. And plus, there is a lot of confusion about what really is data science and what really is machine learning and are they related to computer science and software engineering. So there's a lot of... Uh, expectations mismatch there as well but still there are a lot of tech companies who come for hiring data scientists and data analysts now the next question which you could have in mind is is doing an msqe similar to doing a top mba program and are the roles very similar to mba programs so i would say that it depends and to give you a very uh, thorough understanding of this the roles which are offered at msqe is between what an iatn could get and what an iam grad would get so essentially what i'm trying to say is that let's say there are few roles which are offered to iatns iasi msqe and as well as IIM MBAs. Now, there are a very few roles which have all these three overlap. Now, there are a lot of roles which are offered to MSQE students and as well as MBA students. The thing over here is that if I have to take the majority of roles, majority of roles which are offered to MBA folks are of a pretty different kind of outlook in mind. They have something like a business outlook, a sales outlook, a marketing outlook, and more like a manager outlook in their hiring. But for MSQE, it's a kind of a technical role. So it's more like an analytical perspective. So you would be crunching numbers, writing software programs for running your models and so on and so forth. But the thing over here is that it's not that they are completely separate. There are few roles which even an MBA could do well or even an MSQ student could do well. So it all depends on your luck because ultimately MSQE has a strength of just around 15 in ISI Kolkata and double that in ISI Delhi. And if you consider just one top IAM, it will be around 300 to 400 students. So you see, there's a lot of data points on MBA grads. So definitely they will get different kinds of roles. But if you consider MSQE, so it might happen that at a particular year, a lot of roles which are offered to MSQE grads would be pretty similar to what is offered to the IAM grads. But that's not a pattern which you'll observe every year. There could be a year in which most of the roles offered to MSQ students would be data science roles, roles which have a lot of overlap with computer science and statistics. So it might not have nothing to do with economics. So the thing over here is that as the number of people graduating every year from ISI's MSQ program is so low that there is no pattern to the roles offered at MSQE. So if I just have to tell you that you will get most probably a technical role having some kind of an analytical perspective in it and you would be crunching numbers, writing programs to run your models, that will be like a good summary. And yes, financial risk is something which is like 
the most relevant role for MSQE grads. And yes, if you're thinking about what other opportunities you have after doing MSQE, research, PhD, public policy, government sector jobs. As of now, I have not made a video on that. But if you comment down below, then I might consider researching on it and making a proper video on it as well.